Hey, this is just a pointless vlog I'm doing for fun for uh, New Year's and like last year I'm with my grandparents. What can I say, they're a lot of fun to be with and just gonna film a few things throughout the night leading up to the countdown. This is the tree we had for Christmas and with the exception of the lights and maybe one-third of the decorations, I'm responsible for most of that tree. And it's nice keeping it up until the end of the holiday season. We're weird, I guess. Or maybe that's the norm. Maybe I'm just being a retard. This is my grandma. Anything to say? For in light before the new year happens? Well, another year gone by, so we're hoping 2017 it's going to be okay. We're a little unsure at this point. I think we all can sort of agree with that. And this is my grandfather who uh, was the star of my short film Break and Escape. I call him Guy. You got any thoughts on the uh, impending new year? Well, I'm not much on predictions. I just am hoping we have a, uh, a better finish than we've had this year. High hopes, not great expectations. He won't identify anything specific to avoid a political scandal. I don't even know why I'm making a New Year's Eve vlog, video, whatever you want to call it. I just, I guess I just wanted to do something that has my grandparents in it. I... They're, they're the only members of my family who've appeared in any of my videos before, and I guess I just like having some videos of my family that I can keep forever, or at least uh, for the rest of my life. Either way, I'm sure I'll have a nice time, and I'm sure the countdown will be as fun to watch as ever. Hey. Wouldn't be a Jacob Matthew Crawford video without some kind of smoking involved. Or maybe it would be, uh, the smoking comes and goes with the videos. Off screen, I, I'm not even that heavy of a smoker to be honest. I smoke less than a pack a day. I think the most I've ever smoked is like 18 or 19 cigarettes a day, in one day. Normally I keep it to like 15 or under a day. Yeah, yeah, I know the risks with health. And why am I smoking outdoors? Well, as much as I love smoking and as much as it calms me down at really bad times, the smell can uh, ruin some things indoors. And also, I'm the only one in this family that even smokes. And my mom and my grandparents, they're adamant on do not smoke in their homes. I used to have a friend who would let me smoke in his car with them and that's kind of the closest I've ever come to smoking indoors. I also wanted to come outside so I could show ya. Snowflakes, motherfuckers. As much of a pain in the ass as it is to plow snow, God admit, Watching it come down and coat the hill is kind of pretty. This is probably the most boring fucking video I've ever made. Well, except for the parts of my grandparents. They're always nice. I, I better turn this off before it ruins the camera. This is uh, our second dinner for the evening. Peanut M&M's, Grey Goose, Tostitos, hummus, salsa, tabbouleh. It's a good thing to mix with your hummus. You should try it. And uh, these are just some, these are the oven foods. Uh, I think these are, what are these things, Grandma? Little quiches. 
Yeah, that's for them. I don't eat that shit. Uh, these balls are supposed to be crab cakes, I think. Yeah. And these triangle things are something that my mom made, and she's not here. She's off uh, possibly getting herself killed on a snowmobile. But yeah, these triangles are her stuff. These are delicious. What do you think of the food? I'm hoping it's good. You made it. Mom made it. It's bound to be good. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like the food that they make, Key? Very much. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, we can't eat any until you quit filming us. So. <laughs> he's a smart old man. A smart ass old man. But he's fun. Fucking tasty. <laughs> so I just showed Guy a New Year's Eve themed movie. A movie that I just did a three part review of, so I'm not going to talk about it much. Four Rooms from 1995. Uh, Guy, what did you think of it? Well, it got better, better as it went along. The first uh, episode was, couldn't figure it out. Second episode was more confusing and not any more interesting. Then they got more interesting. So, and the last one was just a funny conclusion, a very funny conclusion. Yeah. In kind of a grim way, but a very funny conclusion. I think the ending of the fourth, aka the ending of the whole film, was. Overall, a satisfactory ending to this very uneven movie. Yeah. If that makes sense. Well, you'd, you'd expect it to be uneven, I think, because you had um, four separate uh, script yeah. writers. Allison Anders directed the first story about the witches. Did she write it? Yep. They, each director also wrote their stories and... The first story is bad, but I'll give it credit. It does have one or two jokes that do make me laugh. Second story is honestly one of the absolute worst things I've ever watched. It was just, you know, it was like a waste of uh, video space. And Jennifer Beals, the woman in the second, fourth story... She was married to the director of the second story, Alexandra Rockwell. Mm -hmm. And I made a joke in my review that hopefully it was this uh, collaboration that led to their divorce, because clearly this relationship wasn't helping her in any way. Well, being in this <laughs> film, you can't imagine it helped her too much. The third story by Robert Rodriguez about the misbehaving kids. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that one? That had some humor. Not perfect, but it was it was just a good slapstick fun. A lot of good goofy fun. And the final scene is like the conclusion to a very long joke. Agreed. What did you think of Tarantino's acting in the fourth story? It was fun. I liked it when he used a couple of his... Uh... Um, expressions out of um, Pulp Fiction, Tasty Beverage, and so on. Yeah, that was that was a, kind of a, a, a fun t uh, fact. And when he makes Ted um, say what he wants him to say about the champagne, mm -hmm. kind of reminded me of myself briefly. How's that? Because I can sometimes tell people to say what I want them to say. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a jerk sometimes. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, what do you think of Bruce Willis as Leo? Nah, it was fine. It, was, it wasn't an outstanding uh, Leo or anything like that, but it was, it was funny that it was Bruce Willis. He's uncredited because he did the film for free. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, he violated uh, SAG's rules. Okay. So he had to be uncredited to avoid getting sued. Right. It wasn't a. It, it wasn't a great part, but he uh, he carried it off well. 
Mm-hmm. So. So, uh. But it was a good ending. Did you, so I get, take it like everybody else. First half, blah. Second half, better. All right. Good. Hello, everybody. We are currently about a, about a minute and a few seconds away from the end of 2016, and I'm here with my very awesome and very uh, sympathetic grandparents. Less than a minute. Anything you guys want to say before the year ends? No, I'm the, excited. The ball is now <laughs> dropping. They're at count 47. Very soon it'll be 2017. <laughs> <laughs> We're all here with our poppers, horns, and these stupid hats. <laughs> I think I'm lovely in a hat. 30 seconds. Well, 2016, goodbye. 19 we, seconds to go. We will not miss ya. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! <laughs> Too bad, Grandma. <laughs> Happy New Year. What a wild display we have here. Yeah. I think we have to tone it down next year. <laughs> tone it up. Come on. Ah. Woo! I got you on film for you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go grab our glasses, right now. Back on camera. Let's see, where are we, where are we supposed stay to go? Here. We'll, we'll stay here, we're trying to stay in frame, yep. everybody. And uh, here's to 2017. May it be uh, better than 2016 <laughs> ended. Cheers. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy Jacob. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. It is now, in a couple of months, it'll be these two guys' uh, 70th year <laughs> on this planet. I'm just going to be... I'm just going to I'm just going to be measly 22. <laughs> yes. As you can see, we live a very wild <laughs> lifestyle. Happy I am so sorry for this, uh, guys, on funny humor. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! They they drink in champagne. I'm doing my trademark screwdriver. Okay. Jackie Brown influenced me well. <laughs> Off it goes. We're done. So that was our. 2016 New Year's Eve vlog, and this will probably be silly to some, fun to others, and for me, it'll just, for me, it'll be good memories. Happy New Year. I'll probably put this up a month after New Year's, but it's a thought that counts. Later. <laughs>